Got migraines? Probably not. You probably have trigger point headaches, also called tension headaches. Over 90% of headaches are tension headaches that come from tight muscles, whereas migraines are only 2% of headaches, and they're the most misdiagnosed complaint that I have that come into my office, because migraines are headaches that go all over the entire head and they last seven to nine hours. Whereas tension headaches are in certain areas of the head and they can sometimes last days. Hi, Dr. Malka here, your chiropractor and acupuncturist practicing in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm gonna to show you how to self-treat tension headaches with massage and stretches. And these massages and stretches are gonna be of the upper trapezius muscle, and that one causes the headaches that come up the back of the head, the side, and sometimes it feels like your eye is getting poked out. And the suboccipital muscles, which are those muscles right at the base of your skull, and those do that wraparound headache. First, massaging the upper trapezius muscle. With the shoulder down like this, the muscle is at a little bit of a stretch. So you wanna bring the shoulder up, but you can't just leave it like this because you're tightening the muscle. So maybe find the back of a couch, or if you wanna just put your arm by your side, but you do need it completely relaxed. And you're gonna come in with a grip because this muscle shaped like a wave and the trigger point is inside the wave. So you need to do a, what I call a Vulcan grip. So grab onto this muscle like this, and squeeze. If the muscle is still too tight, you can lean the head into the side of the muscle that you're working on. And you wanna grab this and squeeze really hard. And if you have that headache, let's say it's on this side, I'm working this side, you should feel that headache intensify up that back of the neck or side of the head. And you wanna hold this for 30 seconds or a minute and then come out of it and just you know, rub it out maybe with a stretch. And then put the arm here, back of the couch, back of a chair or on the side, lean the head in again and just grab a nice big piece of this tissue like so. Another way to massage it, it's a little less effective, but with a Theracane where you can come in and just push right down on top of the muscle. This works moderately well, but again, keep in mind that trigger point is inside the muscle, so the pincer grip will be better, but I can understand that your hands might get a little tired. The second one is the suboccipital muscle, and that's really a hard one to get to. It's right underneath the skull. So I'm gonna turn around and show you that one. I'm gonna be using a Theracane for this. And this is a tool I use in a lot of my videos, so I do recommend you get it. You can get, it's called, I use the Theracane. You can use, there's a lot of different tools out there that are shaped like this. And so you're gonna, here's your skull, right? I'm feeling my head. Right where it drops off, that's where the muscle is. And this muscle actually would be better to massage lying down. That way, this neck muscle is completely relaxed. The direction you're gonna do is up into a diagonal. You can come straight on like so, but if you come up into a diagonal, you're gonna be able to reach that muscle better. It's a very, very deep muscle, so you could use very deep pressure. And then you could even go up and down and massage it like this. And then you're gonna start on the inside near the spine, up and down like so come out a half an inch, up and down like so, until you find that trigger point. And when you find that trigger point, just relax and rest on it and push it until you feel the relief dissolving. And you'll know you're on it because the headache will actually intensify. But don't worry about that. That's just part of the process of getting the muscle to release. And then if the headache is on this side, you're gonna work this muscle. Again, next to the spine, drop off about a half an inch, and you're gonna be pushing the theracane away from you. That's gonna create that pressure. And once again, I'm gonna emphasize that you should probably do this in a lying down position, if you can, 
Just to make sure the muscle is completely relaxed, I'm going to go out a half an inch, pushing and coming up and down just to create a little cross fiber friction on that muscle and then come over to the side. To stretch this upper trapezius muscle, you'll want to drop the head to the side and then with this arm, you'll want to either bring it behind the back or on the bottom of the chair. That's gonna drop the shoulder down. So if I'm just here like this versus like that. So go ahead and drop that shoulder down, either put it behind your back or grab the bottom of the chair and drop your ear to your shoulder. Now you could just relax here for 30 seconds or a minute. And if you feel this isn't such a good stretch, you can intensify it with stretching against resistance, which I do in all my videos. It's the best way to stretch. You're going to put your hand here and you're going to bring your head up in this direction, but you're not going to change the range of motion. So I'm in position here. I have my hand here. I'm going to push up against my hand in the direction of my eyes for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength. Be gentle with your neck. You don't want to do these exercises very hard. Now I'm going to do the other side. Either this time I'm going to put my arm behind the back to drop the shoulder down so you can see how that's done. So you're going to drop the head to the side like so. Put the hand here. Then I'm going to push in this direction without changing the range of motion. And I'm going to push up with 10% of my strength for 10 seconds. And then let's do the other side. Drop the head down. Bring the hand here, and you're going to push up against your hand for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength. And I'll go to the other side and do it again. Pushing up against my hand for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength. And you'll want to repeat this three to five times. You do want to do both sides to create balance, but definitely stretch out the affected side more as well as massage the affected side more. The next one is the suboccipital. This one's a little tricky to stretch. So your neck muscles do this, the back of the neck muscles, but the suboccipital does this. It's the nodding muscle. So the way you want to stretch this one is tuck the chin, and then drop the head, head down slightly. And so I'm stretching this muscle. Let's go through this again. Here's my neck in neutral. You're gonna tuck the chin back, bring the head back, and then drop the head down, tuck the chin. Now to increase the intensity of the stretch on this muscle, you're gonna bring your hands behind your head, tuck the chin, drop the head down, and then you're gonna push against your hand. Now you're not pushing in this direction, you're pushing back against your hands and feeling that opening up of this region. Once again, tuck the chin, drop the head down slightly, and then I'm going to push up against my hands for 10 seconds with 10% of my strength. And now relax. Once again, Tuck the chin, drop the head down, and push against your hands for 10 seconds with 10% of your strength. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe so I can bring you more content. And give me a like, and if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. We will be launching a new YouTube video every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. And I'll be available for any questions you have or suggestions for future videos.